I, one last question about the flu, and I have to go back to coronavirus. Um, so just running some quick numbers in my brain. So there's eight, that's eight exclamation point, right? So the 64 variants of the flu, is that wrong? Are there more, are there fewer? No, so the important thing is, um, so it has eight gene segments, only two of those are on the outside. So I'm gonna, I'll throw some like acronyms at you. You let me know when it go back. So the flu has- I'll just write them in the flower here. I know, I should have gotten a little diagram for this. Um, <laughs> really cute cartoons of it. I have actually, let me see if maybe one of the papers I have right here has a pretty diagram. Sometimes they do. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of pictures. Pictures are super helpful. So basically, flu has its eight segments. Two of those, two, we're gonna keep this easy. Two of those are on the outside of the virus. Okay. That's essentially what binds our cells and that's what gets in. So those two, so have you heard of H1N1, H3N2, H5N1? So, so H1N1 was the swine flu of 2000... Nine. Some, that nine. I was gonna say mm -hmm. eight, so I'm, um, okay. So 2009, okay. So that was the swine flu. So we all kind of knew it as swine flu at the time. So mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so, so what, are those, what are those letters mean? Just real quick before you go. Yes, so, um, so what they stand for is H is hemagglutinin and N is neuraminidase. And those are just the proteins on the outside of the virus. So okay. all flu have hemagglutinin and neuraminidase. And the hemagglutinin is what binds and it gets into the cell. The neuraminidase is what cleaves it and lets it release virus. And that way you get spread of the virus. Bad for us, good for flu. Um, <laughs> so, and it's, it's really, so it's the, there are, IPI would be mad at me. There are 17 different hemagglutinins and nine neuraminidases. So those are the things that swap. So that's how, oh, okay. if you've heard of bird flu, bird flu is H5N1. The swine flu is H1N1 and it's called swine because it trafficked through pigs into humans. So its origin okay. is swine. Um, there are six other genomic components of flu um, and it gets so complicated. There's only one of which I study. <laughs> so it's at the like research molecular level, we really break things all the way down um, in order to better understand what it's actually doing.